Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to do is I took these two um, vents um, for like your va for like your vent hood or your range hood in your uh, kitchen. I took two of them and I wrapped one of them in a type of uh, stocking like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take carbonated filt um, activated carbon and I'm going to put the carbon into this and then we're going to glue the two layers together like that. And it should make for quite the filter for what we're going to do with it. Went ahead and rigged up this. This little baby. This is a, a full inline fan that I have put together, built, and added a 120 volt um, plug to it. So anyway, it's going to sit like this, all right? And these filters are going to sit in front of it like that. Can y'all see that? Like that. So when, it, so when it's blowing the air or sucking the air in, it'll do it through the carbon filter and it'll vent any type of smoke, uh, cigarette, um, you know, soldering iron fumes, any type of fumes that I want to remove, this big ass fan is going to do it. I believe it's 275 CFM or whatever that means. So yeah, that's the new idea. Um, I went ahead and built this styrofoam uh, block as it was I cut it up the shape and then I glued it together with the glue gun so it would support the fan like so so yeah alright so now since I've kind of given you guys an idea of what I want to do I'm gonna take the two filters never mind this one because it's kind of bent out of shape but we're just gonna sandwich the two like so I got you guys on two cameras I got one right here and then I got one above me. Say hello, hello. All right, we got our glue gun. It's let's see if it's hot. Yeah, it's pretty warm. All right, so let's go ahead and do what we're going to do. So let's let's take our activated carbon, and we're just going to try to go like this with it. We definitely want to spread it out. But this stuff makes one hell of a mess. So you want to be careful with it. Because it does make a mess. Now this activated carbon, you can find this for fish tanks. I actually found this uh, bottle for about four or five bucks um, from Walmart. And I've used it a few times. And it works great for filtering out um, odors and smells and smoke and whatever else if you like to smoke cigarettes in your room or you smoke uh, tobacco 420 style or anything like that you will find that it is um, it is it leaves a hell of an odor so this carbon filter like what we're doing here should alleviate some of that now you don't want it to be too glumbled up because you do want air to flow through it so we're just going to try to break it up a little like so, okay? Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the glue gun and I'm going to try to glue the frame to the frame. So we will see how well this works. I got to be quick about it because the glue will start to chill and we don't want chilled glue. Alright, so I'm going to take the two and we're just going to try to sandwich it together the best we can all the way around. Try to seal it up because we don't want any of that carbon to leak out of there. So we need to probably gonna have some gaps in it where we're gonna have to fill her up with glue and 
Okay. And we'll just smush that together while that's chilling. Same here at the top. This looks good. All right. So yeah, like that. Just like that. That looks good. Oh, I forgot, guys. Don't forget the giveaway. I haven't... I've only had like three or four people register for the giveaway, guys. Go on Facebook. Go to Tech ATEC PCs. Go to my page. Find the, the post that we made for the giveaway. And leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us. That's part of the qualifications. Anyway, so getting back to what I was doing. So anyway, now that our carbon is sandwiched between the two these two I want to try to make sure it's even because you definitely want to make sure it's even and any little gaps like this right here we're gonna fill it in with glue and stuff and basically what we're making is a DIY uh, filter carbon filter now you can buy the carbon filters and the inline airs, you can buy the fans and all that stuff, but you're going to probably pay 80 to 100 bucks for it, if not more. So anyway, we're just going to let that chill, and then I'm going to bring back up the fan. So here's the fan, alright, and we got it like that. And what we want to do is we need to figure out which way the fan blows, or which way it goes. Now I am assuming, judging by the way that the blades are designed on this, that it's going to blow air this way. But I want to make sure, so let's, let's undo the extension cord here, turn this sideways, and plug her in. It should work, I hope. All right, there it goes. Oh yeah, it's blowing it that way. Definitely blowing it that way. So, it'll sit like this, and then the filter, with all the activated carbon in it, I can feel it. I can feel it moving air. I just wanna see if it's enough, so let's... Let's light something up and see if it works. Oh yeah, you can clearly see it. Nope, still same volt, 71. And if we remove it, yeah, it doesn't seem to make a difference, guys. But that sound does, though. You can really hear that sound making a difference. Okay, so we're at 70, 70 volts or, sh or give or take. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that, okay? Now the filter has to sit here in a groove. So I'm thinking that I might, what I might do is, is I might actually carve. All right, so what I'm thinking about doing is I may actually put a little, a little groove right in here with the filter so that way the filter will sit up in the air like that so let's go ahead and get our glue gun plug back in and we'll let that get nice and hot again and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take a razor blade or an exacto knife something along them lines and cut a little groove in where this is going to sit so I'm gonna make a slice mark here okay I'm gonna make another one here make sure it's nice and deep okay I got my two cut marks let me remove that so I made my two my two incisions here I don't know if y'all can see that very well but I made the two incisions so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them just enough to where they will fit in place with the other ones. 
So I appreciate you guys tuning in right now for my, another one of my DIY projects. This is a DIY carbon, activated carbon filter and inline fan for your room. So we're just going to cut into it a little like that. Okay, and then the filter should kind of just sit in the hole like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, kind of like that. How it will just sit in the groove that we're cutting. So let's, uh, let's continue. Cut a little more of it so it'll fit better. Okay. I guess if you wanted to take like a hacksaw or something and just make a clean cut with it, you could. But we're using a razor blade. So, just like that. Alright, and then the fan is going to sit right behind it like so. Can y'all see that? How I have it. I have the fan. I have the fan and then the carbon filter brought in so that way when it blows air through it will it'll get it just right so that's the idea of this so anyway we're gonna go ahead and let's see if our glue guns up build damn near anything you want with soup with this uh, hot glue. The only thing though is if whatever you're gluing gets warm or heats up, you have a good chance of your glue becoming unbonded because if this glue gets hot, it will it will fall apart. I've, I've tried putting glue on certain things and then those components heat it up and when they heat it up, the glue, the glue went with them. So anyway, I just kind of want that just as clean as I can get it. I know it kind of looks like crap, but a little glue in her. Okay, like so. Take the filter and kind of push it down in its little spot. All right. And that's it. It's it's in there. It's in its little home. Let's see here. I need another glue stick though. Alright. Glue stick number two locked and loaded. Let's pull the feet back on it so we can hit these behind the seams spots. So we're just going to glue it like that. Alright. That's good. Okay, now for the fan. For the fan. We're going to install the fan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little glue on the, the feet here to help hold the fan in place. So that will go down like that. And I do. Uh oh. I missed it. Shit. I missed the the glue spot for it. Let me see if I can't hit it again. There we go. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's way better. So that way it like that get rid of any spider webs that the glue gun may leave behind y'all know what I'm talking about all right so let's turn it this way and look at it from this angle let's see here it looks okay it looks exactly how I wanted it so it feeds with the vent through the carbon filter out through the back side of the fan so it, it'll it kind of looks like that y'all can see what it looks like so anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going with it I still got a little bit more work to do 
with it and hopefully it will serve our purpose correctly what do y'all think I don't know let's find out here though but we're gonna go ahead and uh, hold up on it all right so what do you guys think here's my DIY filter activated carbon filter This is my DIY control panel. As you can see, I added fans to it and a light. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like the DIY carbon air filter, activated carbon filter that I made. I'm proud of it. Hell yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, y'all be cool. Well, I leave that in the sky.